Hey guys, how's it going? Mr Mitchell here. In this video we're going to go over two worked examples to show you how to do problems involving balanced and unbalanced forces. Now if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic and that way you can apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get started. Question 1 says a book of mass 5 kilograms rests on a table. Part A says to draw a diagram to show the forces acting vertically on the book. Well let's draw our table first of all and then our book on the surface of the table and we can label the forces acting vertically. So there's going to be a force acting downwards on the book which is its weight, i.e. the force due to gravity. And because the book is at rest there must be balanced forces here which means there must be an equal but opposite force acting upwards on the book which we can draw here. And there's several names for this which is the reaction force or the normal force and that's due to the force of the table on the book. Part B says to state the magnitude and direction of the reaction force. It says note, the reaction force in this case is the force of the table on the book. Well we can say that since the book is at rest, the forces acting vertically on it are balanced. And therefore we can say the reaction force upwards will equal the weight downwards. So in order to find the magnitude and direction of the reaction force, we just need to calculate the weight of the book on the table. So we're trying to find the weight W here. We know the mass of the book is 5 kilograms and the gravitational field strength G on earth is 9.8 newtons per kilogram. So writing down our equation relating weight, mass and gravitational field strength, we have W equals mg, substituting in the numbers gives 5 times 9.8 and if you put that into your calculator you should get an answer of 49 newtons. So therefore we can say the reaction force is equal to 49 newtons upwards, giving our direction there as well. Lastly question 2 says a submarine will float on the surface of water when the tanks on board are filled with compressed air. Part A says to draw a diagram of the forces acting vertically on a submarine when it is floating. Well let's just draw our submarine as a block and we can label the vertical forces so firstly the downwards force is going to be weight again and since the submarine is floating it must have balanced forces acting on it so there must be an equal but opposite force acting up the way and we call this force buoyancy or up thrust. Part B says the compressed air in the tanks is now replaced with water. Explain in terms of forces why the submarine will sink. Well we can say that since water is more dense than air, the weight downwards will increase, creating an unbalanced force downwards. This causes the submarine to sink. That's all for this video folks, thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.